Joshua and Ariana began to get into an argument over Skype, where she then began to cry. Now, folks, unless you're a little kid on the internet, anywhere from the age of, oh, I say, probably eight or below to about 14, um, I don't care how much bullying you got in IRL or how good friends you were, which this shouldn't have separated your friendship at all, even if Joshua is act. I, I'm going to admit Joshua is as much to blame as Ariana, but like I said, this is towards Ariana now. Joshua's another video. I mean, my, my god. You, you do not have to cry over someone over the internet. Because yes, internet friends can mean a lot. But, you haven't even met them. So crying over them is just overreacting. I know she might be a little more sensitive, but there's just a line with certain things on the internet. You don't cry over someone over the fucking internet. Then Joshua and Ariana continued to fight until he became, like I said, the new flavor of the month for this third gen commentating community. And it's mostly her friends, but I'm just going to say the third gen commentating community because you know that's that's where they all hang around, which basically means they are going to shit out a bunch of one shots and bland commentaries that are not funny in the slightest, 99% of the time. So not only do these people usually have a huge bias, but they're also bland, annoying, and almost carbon copies of each other. Also, it always seems to be that Ariana's butt buddies and ass kissers seem to be the only ones doing this. I mean, is is I mean, it's just, it might just be me, but it always seems to be me that notices this. It's always her friends. Now, there are some exceptions, like Youngblood, um, Nation Johnny K, Supersonic 407, and, you know, just some random... Did I say just some random geek too already? I might have. I I don't know, but a few others that don't seem seem to have an outside opinion on this. All these other people, they seem to have pretty much the unanimous decision that Joshua is evil. That Joshua is just a dirty, rotten bastard. I'm not saying he isn't, but you know they all have the same opinion. They gotta, you know, just go after him and. You know, I, I don't know. It just seems to me that it's kind of unfair. <laughs> it's kind of like 300 against 1. I mean, he, no matter what Joshua did, he doesn't really deserve like 3,000 commentaries on him at once. I mean, c couldn't have someone just said, look, we don't need another commentary. No, oh, no, no, we need an another one about him. I mean... Everyone else who is not kissing their ass seems to be of the opinion that they are both to blame. Not just Ariana and not just Joshua, but they are both to blame. Such as, as I said earlier, Youngblood, Geek, Shadowhunter, Loudon. These people are the ones that seem to think that, you know, um, it's just, you know, those two. You know, just put together. But there's also another person that seems to think this. And that is Super Sonic 407. Now, the reason I I want to sit here and talk about his apology video for a second because I think this really shines some light on the Ariana community, as I will call it, kind of like the Brawlmaster community. Um, it kind of shows kind of a bias. Basically, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Super Sonic 407 had a apology video that I would go over and kind of commentate over some of it, but unfortunately it has been taken down, so I can't really go over it. But Super Sonic 407 made a video with Loudon, and basically everyone got mad at him, and basically he made an apology video to um, Ariana, where he was in a Skype call with her and a whole bunch of other people, and he basically said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know, me suck your dick. I mean, I've talked to Supersonic, and I think he's a really cool guy, but I, got, I gotta be honest, they made him into a bitch. I mean, to everybody who was in that fucking Skype call, not Supersonic, 
you should you should be really fucking ashamed of yourself. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think Supersonic was meant any of that at all. I personally think that it was one of those situations where he either got at the minimum he got peer pressured basically, like he, he just just simple peer pressure. Or I think to the max, I think Ariana was like, "Look, if you don't apologize to me." Me and my posse over here is gonna make like 300 fucking commentaries on you, and even though the third gen is not s someone to be afraid of, they are quite an they can be quite an annoying bunch, you know, or at least in this part of the third gen commentating community. I mean, just it just seems so fake because in the Loudon video he seemed really passionate, but in this video. He didn't really seem to mean it to me. It it seemed like I, I don't know, it just seemed forced. But I don't know, maybe it's just me. But that's just my opinion on the whole Supersonic four oh seven apology thing. But, you know, I, I I don't know, it just seems really weird that this video would come out so so soon after that video with Loudon came out. I mean I don't know, man. It just seems kind of weird. But, moving on back to Ariana and that whole drama. I mean, people, let's face it, most of the commentaries on Josh, like I said, have a huge bias. Because they are all friends of Ariana. And they all want to seem to suckle on her fucking a kitten nipples, if you know what I mean. Because, notice how right after that call where they had the argument about My Little Pony, which I think is pretty fucking stupid in the first place, all these commentaries started coming in from the same group of people. And note, I know Joshua wasn't, you know, the most popular guy to begin with, but my god, I I just don't understand how it could could have gone... I mean, it's just simple math, people. When something like this happens, it's it, it increased. It increased. And I think the reason for that is Ariana either sent most of these people out, like, oh man, if you want to prove you're my bestest friend in the whole world, you gotta, you gotta fight the evil bully, you gotta make a commentary on him. Or they're like, We're, I'm gonna prove that she's my best friend, and I'm gonna prove that, that this evil bully is wrong, and we're all gonna gang up on him, and all this other gay shit. I mean, it just seems like it isn't a coincidence that more commentaries are being made on Josh after that call. I mean, you know, it, it doesn't seem like a coincidence. It seems like Ariana kind of intentionally made all this happen. I mean, overall, I think this whole thing's stupid. I think it's both their faults, but in the case of Ariana... I think that she is an oversensitive, sniveling, manipulative bitch. I mean, she made, I mean, just with one negative video, let's take the geek one for example, um, she made a rumor that he is a sexist. Now I'm gonna be, be honest, I'm a good friend with just some random geek. He's not a sexist. You could ask any one of my friends, like Shadowhunter, you could ask Etan the Third, you can ask Loudon Styles, you can ask any one of those people, and they will tell you he is not a fucking sexist. I mean if you ask any of the third gen commentary people, they'll tell you, Oh yeah, he's a fucking sexist. And what's it based off? It's based off a chat, which I'll post in the description. That is simply just a usual insulting chat. It doesn't it's uh, besides vagina scab, there wasn't even anything mentioned about sex. As, you know, it, it was, and it was just the genitalia. It wasn't anything like, oh, you know, I have a penis, I, you have a vagina, I'm superior, you, now go make me a fucking sandwich. I mean, nothing like that ever happened. So, like I said, overall, I think this whole thing is fucking ridiculous. Ariana, you are an oversensitive, sniveling, manipulative bitch. So stay tuned for my Joshua8428 video, and stay tuned to a follow-up on this video, because I'm sure I will get dozens and dozens of commentaries based on this video. Peace, everybody.